Hi Libra, welcome to our channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. I feel like people are getting ready to see whatever it is that you manifested or this could have already have happened, okay? You could have manifested something or this is the energy of like, I know what I deserve, I know what I work hard for and I'm just gonna enjoy life and relax and not even focus on what I asked for because I trust the universe and I know what's coming in towards me and I'm just gonna enjoy life and be easygoing and not try to be in control all the time. <clears throat> yeah. I feel like a Scorpio energy here with the death card. Somebody changed their ways here. I like this energy. This is energy of transformation. So if you change, you're happy with who you are now. <clears throat> oh yeah, you did a lot of self-reflection. You guys did a lot of self-reflection here with the Hermit energy, Virgo energy. Yeah. I feel like... Wait, let me get another card here. So we have three major arcana cards out here. The Magician, the Death card, and the Hermit card. So this is major. This may, and we have another major out here. The Hierophant. The Hierophant. I feel like somebody here learned some form of spiritual lesson. You learned a spiritual lesson. I feel like I'm talking to someone who did a bunch of work on themselves, right? This is self-mastery. This is a lot of self-reflection. You changed a lot of your ways. You're more more focused on, I feel like whatever it is that you, you manifested, you manifested it a while ago. You manifested it a while ago. You did. And it's a, it's a level up. I feel like you guys have a lot of peace now. You see who the snakes are, and this doesn't necessarily have to be love, right? Or maybe if you were dealing with love connections, you realize those past connections, those past people didn't serve you. They didn't serve you, and you changed, or you realized there was something about yourself that you had to change. Taurus energy here with the hair of fine. Ooh, another major arcana. I have never seen. We have five major arcana cards out here. Y'all are really, really protected. You are in such great energy. This is really, really good. Temperance energy, you could be a Sagittarius. You don't have to be, but I feel like y'all just did a lot of healing work. And look at what's on the bottom of the deck. Another major arcana card, the Fool. And the Fool, Aries energy, Aquarius energy sometimes. I feel like no matter what's going on around you, collective, you're carefree. You're calm. Even if there are some obstacles happening in your life or even if there's some drama surrounding you or there could even be some drama that's far away from you that you don't even see, that you don't even care about. Because you see this volcano in the background is erupting and this person is standing on the edge of this cliff. Somebody's ready to take a risk and a leap of faith and they don't care. I feel like I'm talking to someone here who's looking for something new. You did a lot of work on yourself. You did a lot of you did a lot of healing. You're looking for a very balanced connection. You're looking for someone here who is spiritual like you. You could be very spiritual. I mean, considering all the work that you really have done here, you deserve that. And so rightfully so. It's like wow. What else do we have here for the collective? Okay, the Four of Cups. Somebody here is maybe not so happy that you've manifested something new. Somebody could be upset that they didn't manifest that whatever manifestation they've been trying to do. Hold on. Yeah, the devil card just fell on the floor. Give me one second. I don't know if I can pick it up. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is the devil. You could be a Capricorn or dealing with a Capricorn. There's somebody here who's mad that um, you let them go or whatever manifestation, whatever work or energy they've been trying to send towards you is not working. The devil card is falling underneath the death card. Okay, Scorpio, Cap Capricorn dynamic here. But somebody's disappointed. The manifestation work that they're doing could be spell work. I don't know. All right. I'm just saying or whatever the energy it is, they're upset that it's not working. They're mad. This is also you not paying attention to anybody or anything from the past, especially if it's toxic. 
Okay, you turned your back to it. Justice. Yes, you did. You turned your back to it. Another major arcana card. Justice falling under the hermit. You're thinking about all the people who did you wrong. You're thinking about all the people who lied to you. Um, you know what you deserve. You you just do. And you also, the thing is, this is not a blame game. I don't see energy of you necessarily blaming other people. I just feel like you're coming to another form of self-realization. You're realizing what you did wrong, what you allowed, and then like and now you want to bring something back into balance here, which is your life. The amount of whatever it is that you give people. You maybe some of y'all were giving too much love. Maybe you were giving too much of people emotionally, physically, whatever that is. I feel like you are giving that to yourself and you're holding back and you're just releasing yourself from and ending things with people who had some form of attachment, toxic behaviors, whatever it is, honey. This is great. Because I feel like y'all dealt with some people in the past. This is a big major life change for you. Five of Cups, but here we go again. There's somebody here, Four of Cups, Five of Cups, who's just disappointed <laughs> in, in deep regret for how they treated you. Yeah, they are in deep regret. Five, 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 okay? Five could be a significant number here. Um, five of Cups, I'm sorry, Five of Wands. Listen. Somebody's sad. I feel like whoever didn't give to you or breadcrumbed you or gave you un gave you a little bit at a time. They didn't want to get into want to be in a long term commitment, or they just didn't want what you want. For some reason, you weren't on the same page. This person is realizing they played a game with somebody, and and you're moving on. Three of Wands, yeah. Three of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. The Empress, and in this card, the Empress has their back turned. Wow. I feel like you're turning your back on this, anybody who, this person's going through a bunch of, um, show me what this, let's just clarify real quick. There's a lot of major arcana out here. The Magician, the Death card, the Hermit, the Hierophant, Temperance, the Devil, the the justice card like honey somebody definitely could even be getting karma but you turned your back on whatever this conflict whatever this drama is to focus on you and to heal and spirit is applauding you for that you you can see who the snake is you know who the snake was i don't show me more here about this death card Mm, the chariot, another major arcana, cancer energy. You moved on. This is you really moving on, y'all. Like, the death card is, I'm moving on. I'm not dealing with this anymore. I'm done, okay? I'm just good. I'm overcoming these obstacles. I don't care. Whatever you have going on over there that don't have nothing to do with me, that's the energy that I'm getting. What's the hermit here? The sun card, another major arcana. So something's coming to light here. Either spirit helped you to see something, right? Because remember, we talked about you getting clarity. You realizing some things. Some things coming to the surface. Something being illuminated. Spirit may have illuminated something here for you. And they definitely did. This could be you realizing what you, what you, how you showed up in certain situations and connections. This could be you realizing who, like I said, who's the snake. Who did who meant you well? Who didn't mean you well? Why is the hair fine here? Mm -hmm. Damn, ten of pentacles. You have something good coming towards you. Ten of pentacles, clear. You have a commitment. You have a balanced, committed relationship with somebody here who you may even have children with. Uh, you're you're going to be with long term. Show me temperance. Yep, three of cups is going to make you happy. This is going to make you very, very happy. The, the give and take, you're going to be willing and open to receive. This person is going to be willing to give and receive. I feel like there's going to be a really good, I, I really like this energy. Okay. 
Show me justice. <laughs> justice is you getting this offer. There's a new offer here, you guys. <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles is an offer. Yep. This is somebody here who's going to be reliable, somebody who's going to take it slow, somebody who's going to be willing to build, right, and grow something and nurture it is what I'm giving. Getting here, why is the devil here? We already know why the devil is here, but let's just see. Why is the devil here? Mm-hmm, the emperor. This is a masculine. Look at this, and this masculine is all, like, concrete. This masculine is gray, concrete. Everybody else around them is like in color, but this masculine is, I feel like stuck. The masculine is the one who was toxic. So there's a toxic past person from your energy who's disappointed that, cause this person is in four of um, cups energy. They're in the five of cups energy too. That's this masculine down here who lied who was in conflict who treated you you know their remorse and regret for whatever it is that they did to you yeah show me this emperor's energy please mm -hmm. yeah this is the person who did decided not to build with you the nine of pentacles in reverse this is somebody who decided not to build with you they did they didn't want to put in the work and now they're over here in this regret and remorse for four of cups five of cups show me more about this emperor they could be an aries they don't have to be yeah the fool they may have even been in, in uh you know they could for real be an aries but they could be a little bit immature they want a new beginning with you but low-key they know they're not gonna have it they're no they know they're not gonna have it i just because you're in a toilet i feel like you're the the energy on this top row is all you your life is changing and it's balancing out you have something good coming towards you you're about to be having a lot of fun. You're about to be living your best life. Some of y'all are getting ready to enter when you or when you meet somebody new, you're gonna have a the a love connection that is gonna be able to stand the test of time. It's definitely protected by angels, right? Because the hair of fighting the tempers and the hermit is here. Hello. Like and the magician, like this is definitely something uh, spiritually connected. I'm talking to the, the collective who's spiritually connected. You believe in a higher power. Show me the emperor. 7-Eleven is playing by Beyonce. Y'all are entering a time period of good luck and fortune. Show me one more about this emperor, please. <laughs> Seven of Cups. I'm telling you, this person is in an illusion for sure. All right? This person's in an illusion. They were confused. Either this... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't like this energy. This person may have had options. They may have tried to keep you confused. They definitely are confused as to why whatever magic or whatever it is that they've been trying to do, like send energy your way to get you to come back to them or to try to get you to gravitate towards them so they can have a new beginning. It's not working. One more on this emperor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three of Cups. I'm sorry. Three of Wands. <laughs> three of Wands and the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. They see you out here looking good and doing good, male or female. I know this is the Queen of Wands, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. And you're such a loving person here. I know usually the Queen of Wands is somebody with charisma. They're a leader. They're not a follower. They're somebody who takes action. They're someone who knows their magic. They have a very strong confidence about themselves. But like in this queen, of, um, in this deck, the queen of wands looks like the queen of cups. There's a kid down there. She looks like she's somebody who's very nurturing. You know what I'm saying? My glasses was kind of crooked, y'all. Okay. Yeah. So show me justice. Show me justice for the collective. Mm, this person. Look at this. There's a love offer here. The Knight of Cups with the Two of Pentacles and somebody wants to offer, make a love offer, but they don't know either A, this could be that masculine that they don't know what they're going to do, or they, this is you saying, I don't know what I want to do, or you might have a choice between two. 
I feel like this is that masculine going back and forth, trying to bring balance into a situation. What do I do to make it right? What do I do? How can I come in and and apologize for the things that I did because they're in such remorse and regret? What what can I offer? And look at this shit. Yeah, this person's like, what can I offer the collective to make them listen to me, communicate with me, and take me back? Page of Wands um, with the Two of Cups. Show me this Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? Six of Cups. This person's upset about the past. The things that they did in the past. That's exactly what it is. Show me the Five of Cups. One more card for the Five of Cups. Mm -hmm. Two of Wands. Yeah, this person realized they waited to do something and they didn't make a decision. They didn't make a choice. They realized that or they made the wrong choice. But now this person is like watching you. Show me this five of wands energy. Mm -hmm. Stuck in their head now. In, the, in deep regret, remorse. They feel stuck. They feel trapped. They don't know what they want to do. They feel like their hands are tied here. Uh, they could have allowed other people to control them or they could have cared about what other people had to say with that page of swords being underneath the deck with this eight of swords being here too. Because the five of wands is like other people, but sometimes it's also internal conflict. And with the eight of swords, the eight of swords is also internal conflict too, right? You saw your, it's all mental. It's in your head. Okay. Maybe somebody was listening to what somebody was saying. Other people created the, this false illusion or, or, or show me more here on this five of wands yeah they're in their head about you so now we have the emperor here and we have the empress here the empress is here taurus energy they're in their head about you yeah the moon on the bottom of the deck <clears throat> yeah this person's really emotional. They could be a cancer. I, they could have even had... I feel like somebody had somebody else, though. And they tried to get you to be a third party. Because why is this Knight of Wands here with this King of Cups and this Queen of Wands and the Moon on the bottom of the damn deck? I feel like this person's hiding way too damn much. Mm -hmm. All tied up and stuck. That's that Eight of Swords energy. Why is this person stuck? And what? And why, why is this person stuck? They stuck in something that they know they don't have the confidence to walk away from. Okay. It's what this looks like with the second chakra in the world card. So, so, yep. And the reason they can't do that is because of money, financial constraints. But I feel like you got your back turned to this. I don't think you care. Yeah. The man holding the, the man holding. <laughs> this person loves you. That's that king of cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Show me more here. Yep. Indecision. Indecision just came out crossing. Okay. This trouble, this person's having a very difficult decision on whether or not Knight of Cups, Two of Pentacles, right? Remember, that's what this indecision is. I feel like this person's stuck in between the past and the future. This masculine is. They don't know they want to, what they want to do. Why is this person in indecision? Why can't this person make a decision? They, they're afraid to take action. They're afraid to trust their intuition and take action. They know what action they need to take, but they're afraid to do it. Spirit is pushing this person to do that, and they're not doing it. I, but again, I feel like you are coming through as this woman holding a coin and the healer of ages. Okay, like you're doing good, you're fine, but somebody's mad at you that you're either unbothered or um, somebody could be a Libra here. I don't know if it's so much that you're, I do feel like you're relaxed and you're calm and you're minding your own business and you're happy wherever you are now or whatever you're doing, you're good. So show me more of this masculine energy, please. Somebody's about to come. Somebody's, yeah, hold on. 
Yeah, for some of y'all, this person did want to continue to keep you in a third-party situation. Um, but it's a no-go for you. You're not going to do that, right? Um, crickets came out in reverse, and this is like non-action. Somebody's getting ready to come out of hermit mode because they can't stop thinking about you. Commitment just came out crossing. Some of y'all, somebody does have to get a decided between old and new. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's for some of y'all, somebody here could be in some form of commitment. Maybe that's why they feel trapped. Everybody's situation is going to be different here. But again, there's something that somebody's supposed to be ending a commitment and they're not doing that. They're still staying stuck in a situation. Okay? Because whatever this is, commitment is it's outdated. They're not supposed to be with this person. They It's, it's over. It's just over. That's exactly what it's giving. Spirit is saying it's over. It's yeah, this period, this I told you this person is watching y'all, watching you, spying on you. May even have a fake account. You know, however they're watching you. So pay attention to that. But there's a lot of lust and desire here, passion out here. But you know, in ten of wands and reverse energy here, somebody like knows they got to drop a burden. Somebody is about to. Uh, you're, I told you you were uninterested You don't care You don't want to hear anything somebody has to say This person wants to come towards you This is them These came out together Uninterested in, in, in um, Dang on glasses Look at that They're like please Will you take me back please And you're like no I don't want to hear anything you got to say Bottom of the deck I'm done I learned my lesson it's a no for me, right? But this person, I don't know what's going on here. There's some form of gossip. This person wants, she's hoping that you'll ask for forgiveness or something. You know what I'm saying? It's like, this, for some of y'all, this person may have heard that you moved on to somebody else better than them. Uh, yeah, that's what this seems like, moved on. <laughs> Look at that. That's underneath the deck too. Uh, for some of y'all, you know, this person could have been a boss when you met them. They could have been like doing really good at work and life or their finances were good at some point, but now they're coming up in reverse. They were stable. They had money. But remember, we saw that financial constraint energy. No, the money's not doing good right now. It's just not. This person's stuck in their head and they're tired of it because they're jealous. They think you've moved on and you're seeing somebody else. You know, they refuse to change. They refuse to accept the lesson that they learned. Spirit said, hey, we're going to give you a choice here. But this person decided not to do that. For some of y'all, somebody could be dealing with a drug addiction here or some form of substance abuse here. Whatever that is, could be alcohol, could be, any, I don't know, whatever that substance is, you know it better than I do. And on the outside, the thing is, this person may look really good and they may really look like, they don't have problems, but they really do have problems. Look at this energy. They put on the front like they're perfect. Their life is good, but no, they're, it's not good. This, and this person knows they're running out of time because they feel like you're not, they, their ego is getting in the way. They really feel like it's time for them to come towards you and beg and plead and just, and, and they know you're not going to do it. They know you're not going to do it. They know there's no negotiation. You know what I'm saying? Because you stop chasing them. You stop chasing them. Yeah, commitment is here in reverse. Or they're getting ready to... I'm telling you, this person's dealing with somebody else with commitment here in reverse with hot pursuit and chasing. They're... Whatever this other situation is, for those of you who resonate with somebody being committed to somebody else... Y'all are minding y'all business and you're not concerned about it. But I'm telling you, there was a third party situation and you're not doing that anymore. You, you used to cry over this situation in this person and you no longer do that. You're no longer sad. You're no longer hurt. You're no longer upset. Some of y'all thought this person was your twin flame. You may have found out that this was not your twin because why is twin flame here in reverse okay you may feel like this person could have been a twin and they chose to stay stuck in another situation or you chose not to stay stuck to them and you say you know what i want new love i'm not i'm not gonna deal with this situation that's what it's looking like but they want your forgiveness and you're not good i told you some of y'all might get, be getting ready to hear some form of gossip this is like the second or third time gossip came out here you might be hearing through the grapevine somebody's getting ready to leave a commitment. 
they had a divorce. Honey, somebody done found the strength to separate themselves. But see, somebody here is angry and upset with either you or they're angry and upset with your person who's decided to cut ties. I feel like you decided to cut ties. You decided to focus on yourself. But somebody here is angry. They're mad. And for some of y'all, they've been spying on you with tarot readings, getting tarot readings. They've been sending energy to you to try to make you sick or try to make you ill. Or they've been sending you the evil eye, whatever this is here. I don't know. Or they was doing this to your person because they mad that they don't want to be with them anymore. I don't know. Either way, I feel like you're doing good. But honey, somebody's up late at night and they depressed and they are concerned. They can't sleep. Either they can't sleep because they feel like everybody's all over you. You got options. And do. And do. Some of y'all say and do. I do. And this person's stressed and pressed, honey. Look at this shit. This is you looking all good. Fine. Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is depressed and upset, honey. They just, mm. they mad at you. Somebody's dreaming, dreaming about you too late at night. All right, but you, you're good though. You're unfazed. So, how does the collective feel about this person from the past? Oh, you love them. Two of Cups. Let me find out you love them. So you still love them, huh? I mean, you can still love them and, you know. How does the collective feel about this person and not talk to them? How does the collective feel about this person? Six of Cups, you think about their ass too. Don't lie. Hit the like button, y'all. You know, don't lie. Please subscribe to the channel. Share, like, subscribe, okay? Two of Cups, Six of Cups, don't tell me you don't like this person, you don't love them. You still love them, but you still definitely think about them. You do. You do. Ooh, you want to talk. Eight of Wands? What's going on? How's the collective feel about this person? You want them to take action towards you? Oh, somebody's stuck. So you want to talk to them, 88, somebody could be born in 1988. Um, you know this person's stuck. You know they're not going to take any action. You love them and you're thinking, oh, so you love them. And you want to take action or maybe talk to them and communicate with them, but you're not going to. You're not going to? I don't know. You know, that's what that seems like to me. Oh, yeah, you, 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 you ended it, the world card. So you're moving on. So you love them. You think about the memories. But they're not giving you enough. Why are you waiting on this person? Two of Wands, Ten of Cups. Some of y'all waiting on this person. Some of y'all have moved on. Oh, you waiting on your... You are waiting on a commitment. You walked away. I'm sorry. Thank you, Spirit. You, you walked away. You're waiting on a commitment. Yeah. I really kind of low-key feel like this is your person's energy. So just flip and switch the roles. But um, what other messages do we have for the collective when it comes to this situation? What else do they need to know? Imagine all unwanted thoughts, the thoughts the dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So spirit is saying don't stay stuck to this situation, the old situation. Come get out of your head, right? Because we do see the Eight of Swords here twice, all right? Um, you just need to think positive. There are new opportunities and possibilities coming in for you, and that's what you need to focus on. Focus on whatever it is that you just manifested, because I feel like you did manifest something new. Some of y'all have a new person, a secret admirer here, somebody that has feelings for you, and they're not telling you. You may not know or even notice this person, all right? Or this is a new person coming in. Look at this, your twin. You, you might have a twin, for real, for real, coming in. This, but we already know there's a twin here, a twin flame connection secretly watching you this could be your tw twin trying to get out of their own feelings i don't know but this says it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on somebody else now is the time to give to yourself and i feel like this is you anyway 
This is you giving to yourself for source energy healing, detaching. So continue to do that, okay? Um, what else does the collective need to know? Ooh, hold on, y'all. What in the heck? Oh, you have a new beginning out here. The fool here. Have the courage to embrace change and take risk and be adventurous. All right. Just be on the lookout for the snake because I do still feel like there's a snake energy still here, but I feel like you're going to see who that snake is or spirit is going to illuminate that and you're going to know who that is. So just make sure you're paying attention. Let me let me get this card. Still on the floor. Marriage proposal. A romantic or business opportunity is coming. Okay. So you got a marriage, from a new beginning, a new relationship. Something new is coming towards you. But make sure you're trusting your pain and paying attention to, to... It says your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. Be careful. The lovers. So yeah, you're going to have, have a choice. It says there are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. So you, you're going to have a trust. Listen. You got to have a new beginning and then you don't have an old person. And I feel like the old person is a snake. Trust your intuition. You, you make a choice. Make the right choice. All right. I love y'all. Hit the like button. See you later.